Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Dr. Finn and Hope Logan's secret meeting on the bold and the beautiful. The bold and the beautiful is known to push the envelope and tackle controversial storylines like mental health. It seems like everyone on B&B &B has lost their marbles once or twice, and this time it's Hope Logan's Annika Noel turn. But Hope reportedly will have an unexpected hero. Here's what's coming up next on Bold and Beautiful. Keep reading for all the details. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers After the infamous kiss, Finn Finnegan has avoided Hope Logan at all costs. Despite being threatened with divorce, soap spoilers hint Dr. John Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, will make a horrible decision when it comes to his wife Steffi Forrester's Jacqueline Messin's wood rival. He knows one accidental meeting could spiral into his marriage ending, but B and B spoilers say the good doctor may have a change of heart in upcoming episodes. B and B spoilers, Finn Finnegan can't get over Luna Nawaz's arrest. Dr. Finn is visibly shaken up over his little cousin Luna Nozawa's Lisa Yamada arrest. Finn has always taken the moral high ground and is a strong advocate for obeying the law. Luna's crimes have Finn looking at mental health a little differently. He had no idea his cousin was so troubled, and on the verge of destroying her young and promising life for all the wrong reasons. Dr. Finn couldn't save his cousin Luna, but he might decide he can make a difference in Hope's life before she goes down a similar path. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Finn Finnegan can't turn his back on sick Hope Logan. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal Finn's vow to save Hope will not go over well with his wife, who has banned Brooke's batty daughter from their lives, so if Finn plans to get Hope some treatment, he will have to meet with her in secret. Everyone knows it will only be a matter of time before the doc and patient are busted and Steffi blows her top. Dr. John Finn Finnegan stood in front of the hospital window, gazing out at the Los Angeles skyline as dusk began to settle. His thoughts were far from the twinkling city lights, instead, they were tangled in a web of confusion and guilt that had grown ever tighter in recent weeks. He couldn't shake the feeling that his life had spiraled into something far beyond his control. Steffi, his wife, had become distant, consumed by her own worries, while his every interaction with Hope Logan carried an unspoken tension that he couldn't ignore any longer. Tonight was the night he and Hope had agreed to meet in secret. After months of stolen glances, awkward pauses, and moments that teetered on the edge of something more, Finn knew this meeting would be pivotal. He wasn't sure if it would lead to clarity or further complications, but he couldn't keep burying these feelings any longer. It had to talk away from prying eyes, away from Steffi, and away from Liam. It was dangerous territory, but there was no turning back now. Hope had chosen the location, an upscale hotel on the outskirts of the city. The private suite would offer them the isolation they needed, but it was a risky move. If anyone discovered them together, the fallout would be catastrophic, but neither Finn nor Hope could stop themselves from taking this step. At precisely 8 o'clock p.m., Finn arrived at the hotel, his heart pounding in his chest. He took the elevator up to the twelfth floor, where Hope had said she would be waiting. As the doors opened, he stepped into the hallway, his feet heavy as he approached room 1206. Taking a deep breath, he knocked gently on the door. Within seconds, the door creaked open and there stood Hope, her eyes wide and filled with the same mix of anticipation and apprehension that Finn felt coursing through his veins. She stepped aside, allowing him to enter and close the door behind him. Thank you for coming, Hope whispered, her voice tinged with nervousness, as she moved to sit on the plush sofa in the center of the room. I wasn't sure if you'd show up. Finn ran a hand through his dark hair and nodded, slowly sitting down across from her. I had to, we can't keep pretending like everything is fine, Hope. Not with what's been happening between us. Hope's lips pressed into a thin line, and she lowered her gaze to the floor, unable to meet Finn's eyes. I know. I've tried to push it away, but something shifted after that night at the Forrester Mansion. You felt it too, haven't you? Finn exhaled sharply. Yeah, I have. And it's not just about the kiss. There's something deeper here, something I can't ignore anymore. But this, he gestured between the two of them. This could destroy everything. Hope looked up her emerald eyes shining with unched tears. I don't want to hurt anyone, Finn. Liam. Steffi, 
They don't deserve that. But I can't pretend that I don't feel this connection between us. For a long moment, the room was filled with a suffocating silence. The weight of their words hung heavily in the air as both of them struggled to come to terms with what they were admitting. This was more than just a moment of weakness. This was the start of something neither of them could control. Finn leaned forward, resting his elbows on his knees as he buried his face in his hands. How did we get here, Hope? How did we let things go so far? Hope reached out, hesitating before lightly touching his arm. I don't know. It just happened. One day we were just friends and the next I couldn't stop thinking about you. I hate that we're in this situation, but I also hate the idea of losing whatever this is. Finn lifted his head, his eyes locking onto hers with an intensity that made Hope's heart race. We have to make a choice, Hope. We either end this now, before it gets any worse, or we figure out what this means for us. But if we go down that path, there's no going back. Hope swallowed hard, her mind racing with the implications of what Finn was saying. Was she really ready to throw away everything she had with Liam for something that might not even last? And what about Finn? Could he walk away from Steffi, the woman he had built a family with, for a future that was far from certain? I don't know if I can make that choice right now, Hope whispered, her voice cracking with emotion. I need time, Finn. We need time to figure out what this really is. Finn nodded, understanding the turmoil that was tearing at her. I get it. I'm not asking for answers tonight. But we can't keep pretending that nothing's going on between us. It's not fair to anyone. Hope sighed, leaning back against the sofa as she closed her eyes. You're right. We need to be honest with ourselves, and with them. But I'm scared, Finn. I'm scared of what this could do to our families. Finn's jaw tightened, the weight of their reality crashing down on him. I'm scared too, Hope. But we can't keep running from this. Whatever happens next, we'll deal with it together. But for now, we need to take a step back. Think about what we really want. Hope nodded, her heart heavy with the burden of the choices that lay ahead. You're right, we need to think this through. As the tension between them ebbed, replaced by a fragile understanding, Finn stood up, his eyes lingering on Hope for a moment longer than necessary. I should go. We both need time to think. Hope rose to her feet, following him to the door. Thank you for coming, Finn. I needed this. He gave her a small, sad smile. So did I. With that, he turned and left the room, the door closing softly behind him. Hope stood there for a long moment, her mind a whirlwind of emotions. She knew this was only the beginning. Their secret meeting had opened the floodgates to feelings they could no longer deny, and there was no telling where it would lead them. But one thing was certain. Life in Los Angeles was about to get a whole lot more complicated.